Oracle Analytics has added a new feature for the workbook filter bar menu that allows the author to define the limit values by setting to either auto or none. And this menu option at the workbook filter bar is cascaded to the individual filters added on to the workbook filter bar. Now let's use this table to demonstrate how this functionality works. Well, I have a table that represents the hierarchy for products, product category being the highest hierarchy to product name, the lowest hierarchy. So I'm going to bring these uh, columns as filters to my workbook filter bar. And you would notice that any selection that I make on product category limits the value on product subcategory and on product name as well. This is essentially because the individual filters have a limit by setting that is set to default. And this default is driven by the workbook filter bar setting that is set to auto, which simply refers to the column hierarchy behind the data set. And it simply applies the limit by settings. If the author sets the limit by setting of the workbook filter bar to none, then any selection that I make on my product category is not going to be reflected on the product subcategory. Authors have the capability to overwrite the limit values by setting on individual filters. Changing it from default to auto will refer to the column hierarchy defined in the data set. Changing it to none would not limit the values of this filter. Let's go ahead and uh, change this to product category. Now, if I go to product category and select technology, product subcategory values are limited to the product category of type technology as you can see on my screen. With the addition of limit values by setting at the filter bar menu, authors now have the capability to set the limit values by setting for all the participating filters in the workbook filter bar and still be able to override the limit values by setting on individual filters.